Welcome to my investment journey, where you will have the opportunity to follow my road to 1,000 euros of passive income through P2P credits. Although a cliché by now, I abide by the principle not to keep all eggs in one basket. My money is spread across several different investments classes, and peer-to-peer -peer credits are only one of them. Similarly, my money is spread among seven platforms, which I consider reliable and professional. Keep in mind that the P2P environment can be very volatile therefore I will periodically check the risks and reevaluate my positions. The presentation of my investment portfolio will be according to size of my positions, from smallest to biggest. My smallest position according to the investment size is Eskidit. Eskidit was founded in 2020 and is one of the newer platforms on the lending scene and offers loans from the Czech Republic, Spain, Poland and Jordan. Eskidit has almost no cash drag and the funds get invested fast. I added the platform to my investment portfolio only in October of 2022 and I am excited to see how it will develop. I have so far invested €2,500 and in January of 2023 Eskidit yielded €22.66 of interests. Similarly to Eskidit Income Marketplace was added to my portfolio in October 2022. Being established in 2021 I also consider it as a younger platform. It is a marketplace, similar to Mintos, where you can invest in loans from different lenders. My €2,500 invested on income marketplace generated in January €16.79 of interests. At the end of January, I topped up my account with €500 so my total exposure is now €3,000. Peerberry, one of Europe's most popular platforms, has been in my portfolio since September 2022. Most of the loans on Peerberry come from the loan originators operated by the Aventus Group and Gafingo. My only gripe with Peerberry is that one can't fully rely on the auto-invest and manual interventions are needed to fully invest the funds and reduce the cash drag. My total account value is €3,500 with €500 being added at the end of January. The investments on Peerberry yielded €20.27. Land is a platform that enables you to invest mainly agricultural loans from Latvia. However, they are planning to expand to Romania in the first half of 2023. So far land has performed excellent and the majority of my loans are current. I opened my land account in April of 2022 with an initial investment of €500 Euros that I grew over the time. My total account value is now €3,500 and return €20.17 of interests. I am excited to see how the expansion will go for land and I hope they will have more success than Estate Guru in picking up their team and loans. Via Invest, a no-frills platform, is my third biggest position and I have been investing on the platform since September 2021. Via Invest has been a solid performer in my portfolio, Stable returns with very little need for management of the account. My investment of €7,600 returns €73.95 of interests. Estate Guru is my second biggest position and is one of my favorite P2P platforms despite the recent problems with the Germany loans. Their Germany expansion went completely sideways. 81% of Germany loans defaulted which bumped Estate Guru's default rate to over 30%. There is light at the end of the tunnel though. According to their CEO Mikkel Stam all the loans are well secured and there shouldn't be any capital loss and the recovery of the investments is expected somewhere in 2025. I am invested in Estate Guru since November 2011 and so far lost no capital investing on the platform. My investment of €8,160 generated €45.04 of interests. This is a notable drop from my previous months and attributable to the poor performance of the Germany loans. Bondora Go and Grow, at 6.75% interests for existing customers, is my biggest peer-to-peer -peer position. I consider Bondora the gold standard of P2P platforms due to their long track record. Established in 2008 it is one of the oldest platforms on the market. Unfortunately, it seems that the management is resting on their laurels and unwilling to adapt to the always-changing P2P landscape. 
Go and Grow Unlimited was not well accepted by the investors as it offered only 4% interests per year. Compared with Trade Republic's 2% interests and Scalable Capital's 2.3% and the bank guarantees, up to €100,000, it is a no-brainer that Bondora lost. I am invested intermittently since January 2020. I have began pursuing a more structured investment strategy focused on bond or at go and grow since September 2020 and have since then invested €13,410 on the platform. At this stage I do not withdraw any of the interests. This lead to the account growing to the total value of over €14,960. My bond or a go and grow income for January 2022 was €82.76. To sum up, my total income for January 2023 from P2P investments was €281.64 and the total investment was €45,600. Going forward, I decided for the time being to pause further investments into Estate Guru but not for what you think. Estate Guru is soon approaching 10000 of total invested money, a soft cap in my mind. Rather than topping up Estate Guru I will invest the money in the other platforms that are further away from the 10,000. For February 2023, besides topping up the existing investments, I also decided to add two more platforms to further diversify my portfolio. If you wish to support me on my investment journey please subscribe and like the video. You can also use my invite a friend links in the video description. Thanks.